Augustus develops the Principate. Devious, untrustworthy, and bloodthirsty, according to Everett. Essay by me. Principate The Principate is the name sometimes given to the first period of the Roman Empire from the beginning of the reign of Augustus in 27 BC to the end of the crisis of the 3rd century in 284 AD, after which it evolved into the so called Dominate. While fighting for dominance, he paid little attention to legality or to the normal civilities of political life. He was devious, untrustworthy, and bloodthirsty. Everett. With reference to the quote, how did Augustus achieve the establishment of the Principate? In a bloodthirsty and most devious manner, Augustus achieved the establishment of the Principate through great violence as well as the rewriting of history. The rise to power started when his uncle Julius Caesar was assassinated in 44 BC, which brought about fighting for dominance. Seizing power for himself, Augustus found himself with Antony and Lepidus, creating the second triumvirate. The Battle of Actium in 31 BC brought peace and legality back to Rome. The first and second settlements of 27 and 23 BC gave him the powers and titles he needed to rule Rome. Then he further supplanted himself through titles, honours and images. Hence Augustus, with untrustworthy intent, led him to establish the Principate, which placed an end to the advancing decay of the Republic, according to Fagin. In the death of Caesar, the empire was torn apart between the Caesarians and Republicans through a bloodthirsty civil war, and Augustus, through this event, would eventually lead him to create his Principate. In 44 BC, Caesar was assassinated at the hands of Brutus and Cassius, and when Octavian heard the news, he seized the money from the military campaign, uh, which was planned against the Parthians. Gaius Octavian was the heir and grandnephew of Caesar, born in 63 BC. Caesar shown that Octavian was his intended successor, according to Eck. Octavian marched on Rome in a state of high treason, according to Edda. When Octavian arrived in Rome, he vowed vengeance for the killers of Caesar, gave money to all urban plebeians as promised by Caesar, and declared Caesar to be a god after a comet flew by. This gained considerable popularity. His rival and second in command of Caesar, Mark Antony, fled. The Senate required an army and so granted Octavian, Imperium. Hence, this was a special stroke of luck according to Edda. Therefore, through his devious confrontation in marching with an army to Rome, Octavian, through certain circumstances, was leading him to establish his rule and eventually the Principate. The Second Triumvirate and Civil War paid little attention for the normal civilities of political life, and would ultimately thrust Rome into chaos, hence further supporting his Principate in the future. The Second Triumvirate was a period in which free leaders with emergency powers fought each other for dominance. The free were Octavian, Lepidus, and Antony, and they created a plebiscite, which justified their right to rule on a legal basis. They also issued proscriptions to kill and reward anyone who killed their political opponents. For example, Cicero was killed under the, these proscriptions. His own cruelty clearly portrayed in chilling examples, according to Eck. Octavian attempted to resettle veterans into the Italian countryside by seizing up the land. This sparked a revolt by those uh, countrymen, which was led by Lucius Antonius, the brother of Mark Antony. Octavian crushed them in the siege of Perusia 40 BC, which described him as butchering the citizens, according to Propertius. Therefore, the Civil War and Second Triumvirate created a bloodthirsty time period in which the Triumvirs were untrustworthy, and Octavian learned from these uh, in the establishing of his Principate. The Battle of Actium, 31 BC, brought the end to the Civil War, and helped to cement Octavian's reign and establish his Principate. Antony had an affair with Cleopatra, the Oriental paramour, according to Eck. Antony also divorces Octavia, which is the sister of Octavian, and his powers were cancelled because of rumours about Cleopatra. Cleopatra and Antony gained 500 ships, 60 given by Cleopatra, according to Plutarch. The battle was lost before it even occurred with, with starvation and systematic moral denigration 
of Antony, according to Wallace Hadrill. Cleopatra fled, Antony fled, and the rest of the fleet surrendered. Thus, Octavian invaded Egypt in 30 BC and ended the Second Triumvirate, using Egypt's wealth and plunder to pay for a civil war. In 29 to 28 BC, he returned to Rome and announced a triple triumph in August and renamed himself as Augustus, becoming the savior of Rome. In conclusion, Augustus was devious, untrustworthy and bloodthirsty through his ignoring legality and fighting for dominance as evident in the, the creation of the second triumvirate which plunged the Republic into civil war, avenging the death of his uncle Caesar, issuing prescriptions, and through bringing war to Mark Antony and Cleopatra as demonstrated in the Battle of Actium. His disregard for the lives of men led him to the creation of the office of Principate and marked the literal end of the Republic.